prayer. It's so central in Judaism, and not just in Judaism, it's almost instinctive. Even people who have no religion will often say, I talk out, call out to God if he's out there, could listen. But it's the siddur, it's the service that is structured for me that people sometimes struggle with. We're praying often with lines that do we even necessarily connect to them. Big visions of connecting to Israel and connecting to the Jewish dreams and connecting to the future of the world. Are these things we're thinking about or would we like to go to God and say, God, I'd like my football team to win this year. I'd like a new card. There's health issues around, struggle over income. Yeah, what about my own prayers? But what happens in the Siddur, in the service, is not that type of prayer, it's something else. The Hebrew verb for it is lehit palel. And many argue that it's actually a reflexive verb. It means I'm doing something to myself. What? So the word palel also is not easy to translate, but it seems to be to do with judgment. I'm judging myself. How? I'm standing before the infinite creator of the universe, thinking, you know, I want a really good year ahead. And then I'm talking about, well, actually, I want great things for Israel and to, to, you know, bring the whole world together as one. And little voice inside me is going, do you really believe in all this? Is this really what you're living life for? And the prayer is kind of testing us and saying, do we? And the deep belief behind the prayer is the answer is somewhere deep inside all of us, yes. We're asking a deeper question. What are we actually living for? Can we access the part of us that wants to live as part of this great vision and dream of Israel to bring God's light into the world? And to the extent to which we can find that within us and awaken it within us, it shifts the direction of our entire life for the year, it changes everything, lift us to become better people, to have that great plan and vision, to plant that seed for a blessed year ahead. And that's the power of what the prayer journey is going to try and do. May we have a Shana Tova, a wonderful year ahead, a directed life full of deep meaning, deep giving to the world, and being blessed by God to be able to do so.